Hey guys! How's it going? It's me, Ash Hero Nerd Life, and you're watching Volts. It's another Monday, that means another week of Volts on Monday and Wednesday. Welcome. Uh, we've got a, we got something new I'm going to do today. I'm going to start doing a to-do list. And uh, we're going to make it an official thing so that we can stay productive and you guys can stay entertained. And I can actually get things done. Um... So let's look at let's take a look at the first one. Let's take a look at the first to-do list here on the Volt series on Nerd Life. Number one, make steel and wires because well, we're out of steel and wires. So let's make some. Uh, number two, I had an idea after reading a wiki, wiki page about setting up an electric fence. We're gonna try that out and see if it actually works because past the idea I never actually looked it up to see if it was possible. We're gonna try that out. Number three, build a missile silo because we have to we have to relocate obviously and we haven't brought our missile launcher over. So we need to build a dedicated silo for our rocket pack launcher thing. And you know what? I'm gonna get a bonus. I'm gonna add a bonus here on a whim. Uh, I wanna take some time out today to discuss Mr. Kenny Loggins, because sometimes you gotta cut loose, foot loose. All right, let's get started. Um, back to the number one, though. Number one, Metallurgic Infuser is now making steel dust because we need some more steel. We just need it. Uh, I've already got it started, and it's baking up this enriched iron into steel dust. If you didn't know how to make steel without using the whole long-winded railcraft steel, uh, you need to use a metallurgic infuser that's built in, uh, it's got a lot of compressed carbon in this little tube here, this is how it runs, it's, it's sort of its fuel, this is, all this is is um, coal put in your enrichment chamber, and then you put enriched iron and this and it converts it into steel, delicious, delicious, I'm going to drop this on the ground here. And uh, what you want to do is then put your steel, obviously, in your furnace and cook it. Pick this back up. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we're making steel right now. Not, that's pretty much a little bit. That's like half of the number one on our to-do list almost completed. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to kill parts of two birds with one stone. First of all, I had a stack of... I thought I had a stack of copper. But I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. So, uh, what we're gonna do now is take a little, take a stack of copper. I'm gonna show you my my idea for this electric fence while I make wires. Okay. So you need to do this. We'll take that out and then get yourself some uninsulated copper wire, any any wire that you want, really. And then uh, we need to drop some more stuff here. Oh shit. Okay. That's fine. We're gonna put some of this away though. Um, we're gonna put our missile stuff away for now because we're gonna we're gonna put it in the silo in a minute. But that's the last thing on our list. Uh, what we're gonna do is, if you the reason this uninsulated wire is is a separate item is because it it is lower resistance, but more importantly for our means is it will it will electrocute you. If if you touch it while it's powered, and what I was thinking is, is if this door will let me out of the goddamn base, um, I was thinking of replacing the poison spikes that we put on the top of this wall, all the way around, with electrified copper cables. How freaking good would that be? It would be pretty good. Let me just say, It'd be pretty dang good. So I'm gonna take down these cop these spikes first of all and try not to poison myself. You know we can turn it off and then you know we can we can just turn be able to turn it off and on whenever we want by turning off the power source whereas these spikes they're always on. They're on all the time. I dropped one down there into the into the crevasse. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's trying to get he's trying to get fresh. He's trying to front, but he's failing. Literally no, that's not it's not the same word. Failing and falling is not the same word, guys. Okay. So we've got our insulated copper wire. Now the question is gonna be how are we gonna power it? How are we gonna power it? I think a, a solar generator 
just a single solar generator on top of the wall will probably do. So let's test it out first of all. Uh, now this is a this is a idea that I had on a whim. So <clears throat> I'm not even sure this is gonna work. It seems like it's gonna work though. So let's put our solar generator on on the wall here. We're gonna put it right there just so it's not. <clears throat> no, I don't know. We'll try it there first. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this here, here, and here, and then we're gonna go sleep and get the sun out so we have it. Oh, that's gonna be an issue, isn't it? No, it's not. As long as it doesn't drain power, then really the internal storage, energy storage for the solar pan, solar generator should be enough to keep the wires powered overnight. We're just gonna have to test it out though to make sure. So let's go touch this electrified wire. How about it? Not the, not the first time I've ever said that. Okay, so let's... False. It's false. Oh, what it... It should be... Oh, damn it. It is false. It is totally false. Let's kill this thing. Let's go ahead and just kill this and this. Let's put it un not underneath that because we're... Let's try to get our, our shit together here. Because so far my shit's not together. Okay. Now it should be... Oh, I'm stupid. I'm totally stupid. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is... It's been a downhill. This should be sunned. Sunned. Okay. Boom. Alright. True. This, this is true. Oh, shit. So... Does that hurt? No, it's not hurting. It's not hurting at all. Okay, so maybe this doesn't work. What the hell's the point then? Okay, well... What I'm gonna do is eat some steak and, uh, and... and think on this while we move on to... Num oh, this was number two, wasn't it? Yeah. So we gotta go back. Let's go back inside and make some actual insulated copper cables. So I've got the insulation here. It's invisible with the texture pack, unfortunately. I think we can just put it like this. This should make us... There we go. Okay, we got 60 more. We can put it down here. We got a whole stack of this stuff. Nice. Number one and number two are off. Unfortunately, number two is off because it doesn't work. It's unfortunate. We've also got 26 copper wires in there, so we're, we're pretty much set for copper. Uh, copper wires, anyway. And, uh, steel. We've got 22 steel now. That's 22 plus... Oh, fuck me. Shit's going up! Shit! Ah! <laughs> Fucking Vietnam flashbacks and shit. What the hell? What the hell do these things kill? You know? I should've closed this off. But, since we're here, and we're on to number three on the do list... Jesus. That scared the crap out of me. Good God. Okay. So I built this little outing here, and obviously I, it's a little bit it's circular. This is going to be where our missile miss, missile silos are. It's going to be where our missile silos are. Um, what I'm thinking is, well, this will be like the center point of our entire compound. If you look at the mini map, here, let's look at the whole map. Uh, you can see that we're in the circle, and then up there or over to the east, we've got our main base. If we can just like turn this way and build out another wing that looks exactly like our main base and then this way and build out another wing and we'll have like this cross shape and at the end of each uh, leg it'll be a fortress and then in, right in the middle it'll have the missile silo as like the center point. That would be pretty badass. Now as you can see I've got gravel here but what I want to do you know I think we're going to dig down one layer just one layer like so just get rid of this gravel and we're gonna go down one more layer too and then we're gonna replace the gravel oops that's not what we wanted to do oh well and we're gonna kill this rock just want it one layer down into the ground here we'll put our 
rabble back out. Boom. Okay. Now, also, this looks ugly, so I'm going to dig out this gravel and replace it with some brick. Some of that brick. Um, actually, what I think... I, this is going to go back, actually. This goes there. What I think we're going to do is put some of this brick here. Some of this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at it. Boom. Got a nice nice nether brick layer beneath it sort of like a structural it's all structurally sound I'm running out of room in my inventory again let's pick up this gravel and we'll go back inside real quick and get our missile stuff and put away some of this junk in our inventory all right we're going to put the wood in here keep one stack of wood a little bit a little bit of wood there and then um we're going to put this away, and I actually have another idea too for making it look cool. We're gonna put this in here. All right. So this is actually the solar. It's a good thing we don't need the solar generator on the fence because it doesn't work. Because we actually need it for the missile launcher. We're gonna need a steady source of power to keep it powered, and a dedicated solar generator sounds perfect. Sounds goddamn perfect. So we need these three items. And let's get a missile too. Where's the missiles at? Come on, dude. There we go. Missile launcher. Or missiles. For said missile launcher. You know what? I lost them in the in the in the upgrade. Oh well. We'll just set these up real quick. We'll just set this up. Alright, so we need to put this here. So our frame, our support strut, and then we'll put the rocket launch launch pad here. Boom! Look at it, majestic, majestic indeed. And then we'll put that there. Got our launcher control panel. We've got our launcher platform, and then we've got this launcher thingy, the stabilizer, to help our accuracy. Awesome. And now we just need to get our wrench. Where's our wrench? Where's the wrench? Oh, there it is. We need to get our wrench, and we'll just do that. And then we'll get our copper cables and hook it up. And hopefully this has power. It's going to be charging up. Once it gets to 400, it'll be sufficient electricity, and it'll be it'll be awesome. Now, what actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this underneath the ground. Heck yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this gravel. Just, it's just not gonna work out. It's just not gonna work out with us. Gravel. Okay, then we'll put. I'm gonna go ahead and dig another layer out so we can work on this if need be. And connect. We're gonna dig our. We're gonna get out of here first. All right. Now we're gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna dig a tunnel over at some point so I can get to this area from our maintenance shaft. There we go. Okay. Now we've got that. Let's put our gravel back. Boom. It doesn't look amazing with the holes and stuff, but it'll do. All right. So our missile silo is looking pretty good. Now what I want to do is make this area right here look pretty badass. So we're going to put this here, put this here, and I'm going to put, I'm probably going to replace this with actual, with like metal posts later that you can make with Railcraft, but for now, I'm going to put this fencing in. It just looks, makes it look a little bit different than just putting windows in, you know? Looks pretty cool, I think. How does this look? It doesn't look that great. I don't like it. Let's not do that. Alright, we get our axe back out. And kill these. We get that. We get that fence. Okay. Well, we've done pretty much everything on our list. We've done pretty much all of the stuff on our list. What I want to do next time... I think by between episodes I'm going to finish these towers on the corners. 
So we'll have a full towers. All three, all four of the towers will be built up. And we're also going to extend our power. We're going to build another one of these if possible. I need to go mining in between episodes because we're pretty much out of redstone again. And I'm going to connect these. I'm going to dig out this grass. Where is it? There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing here? Okay. There we go. There we go. Looks good. Looks fine. Alright. So, we've got our missile launcher. As an overview, we've got our missile launcher, uh, s missile silo. This is going to be a dick to get out of, huh? Uh, we're going to put the stairs there. We're going to put some stairs here in a minute. Let's put the stone stair here. There we go. Okay. Looks alright. Looks alright. We get in here. We can launch missiles. I'm going to get the missiles back as soon as I can. And we'll, we may launch a missile next episode at Poor Bastard B and see what happens. Um, I, I probably should build some more bullets for our, our turrets since apparently things are infiltrating the base. Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably go... Come on, door. should probably put some lighting in here. Put a light right there, put a light right there, put a light right here and right here. There we go. Awesome. Look at that. It's nothing special. I'm probably going to build it up maybe one more layer, but you can't really put a whole lot of wall around it because the missile is going to eventually arc towards the a target. So it could potentially hit a wall if it's too high on its way out. But we can probably manage another layer or two around the edges of the wall. Um, but anyway, it wasn't, you know what, it wasn't super entertaining because I was so freaking productive. I was so damn productive. I've never been this productive in my life. I mean, normally when I'm building a missile in real life, it just takes me for, it takes me ages. It just takes me ages to build the missiles. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think we're done for this episode. God dang. Just done, we got so much done. We got the whole dang list done. Um, but that's that's the point, isn't it? And I guess that's the point of a to-do list, is so you can get to do stuff. <laughs> All right. So this has been Ash here on Nerd Live with another episode of Volts. We've got a lot of stuff coming up on Volts. We've got a whole whole lot of uh, new YouTubers that are going to be on the series with us. So I'll be introducing them. I may be um, doing some guest spots on their channel to help them get situated, and then I might blow them up. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll blow them up because honestly. I don't really need friends, I just need people to blow up. So until next time, play on players. <laughs>